Greetings YouTube, Sega Zombie here and welcome to another Sega Wall Lockdown Isolation Special guys, episode 17 we're on. Well it's been nearly four weeks in now of the um, lockdown in the UK. We're entering week five guys. I hope we're all staying safe and we're staying well. And um, yeah, we've covered a lot of systems so far. We've just had the stunning Sega Saturn over the last few episodes. I thought we'll give the Sega Saturn a rest. Again, the feedback in comments has been swaying towards the Amiga. A few of you wanted some more Spectrum. There's so much we can do, guys. I'm going to do it. Um, someone read my mind in comments because I thought I've been really thinking about ideas in how we can do these lockdown specials on the Amiga. You know, it's difficult because I like to talk nostalgia. I like to show the box art. I like to show what I'm collecting. It's very difficult with the Amiga because it's all on there. It's, it's, I've got to look at it at a different angle, guys, if you know what I mean. And, and what we're going to do today is just that. I've thought of some ideas in how we can show off some great Amiga games and not so great Amiga games and keep that nostalgia there. Right. Where do we begin, guys? Where we always begin. And I've got three more shout outs, guys. And first up is a tuber that's fairly new to myself. Um, I've discovered him in Dainster's live stream um, lockdown specials at eight o'clock. Go and check them out, guys. They're brilliant. They just get better and better. And um, yeah, Cole's Room 70. He focuses a lot on the Mega Drive. Just recently watched his um, Only on Xbox video, really enjoyed that because I've started collecting, um, or I say star, over the years picking up the odd um, Xbox original game. And um, for years I've just had coin-ups on my Xbox, but I kind of got interested in getting the Sega only titles on the Xbox and that's kind of drifted over to getting the Xbox only exclusives as well and that's what that video of Cole's focuses on so that's Cole's Room 70 a load of content on there guys go and check him out and then that leads us on to a, a new YouTuber he's literally only just started in the last week or so he's put three videos up he's started really well really confident and behind the camera at the moment hopefully as he gets settled he'll be in front of the camera but he's doing a bit of an ashen style thing on his um, sofa and his passion and nostalgia again, with a lot of what I watch, it's it's all based on passion and nostalgia. And that is Ginger Hippie Gaming 42. I'm having to look down on my list because it's got a bloody number in it and I'm terrible with numbers. But yeah, Ginger Hippie Gaming 42, Cy Owen, an absolutely lovely guy. He is very, very big in the community. He goes to all the revival events. That's when I get to meet him face to face. We often chat on Facebook Messenger and he is very active in the groups. Retro Tech 100, Retro Realm, he's in them all. So he's often posting on there and gets the community talking. So he's a good fit for YouTube and the YouTube community. Please guys, go and check out Ginger Hippie Gaming 42. I think it's going to be some great content and his videos have been good so far. Really enjoyed them, Sai. Keep them up, mate. And then finally, channels big and small, they'll get a shout out. And a guy that supported me a lot in my early years, actually, and gave me a shout out. And um, he's moved across the pond. He lives in the US, but he is 100% British. <laughs> and um, a lovely guy. And that is Blue Tonic 78 Again, he does his um, Friday brews where he just waffles about nostalgia and I just get absolutely transfixed on him. He's a bit like me. He does a long video. Um, yeah, he often says, I'm going to try and keep this short, but they go on and on and on. Um, just like me. Um, but yeah, Blue Tonic 78 quite a big channel. And mo most of you are probably already subscribed. But if you haven't, go and check him out. He's got loads of content. He doesn't just talk games, he'll talk music, films, you name it. He'll talk about the nostalgia with him um, over that. And yeah, a great channel, guys. So there's three more channels. 
um, for you guys to go and check out, subscribe to and support. Loads of content out there, guys. So much content at the moment. I'm struggling to keep up. And, and while doing these shout outs and um, the live streams and all that interaction, just discovering so many more channels, a bit like a few that I've shouted out are new to me and really grip me and watching all their content. So plenty there, guys. Wow, where are we going to begin with the Amiga? Well, this theme today is going to be Sega on the Amiga. Now, before the, until the Mega Drive come out in the UK, Sega weren't putting games out so much um, in-house onto the micros, on the 8-bits, the 16-bits. And um, even though they delved with the Master System in the UK and had done fairly well, the micros still dominated. And Sega got um, US Gold and Activision mostly to publish a lot of their games over here in the UK. Some of them are stinkers, some of them are okay, some were actually surprisingly quite good. And I could remember growing up with lots of Sega on the Spectrum and the Amiga. And um, we're going to focus on a load of um, Sega ports on the Amiga and let's see what we find. I think it's going to be a mixed bag, guys. So let's take the camera, zoom it on the PVM, and let's get blasting some Amiga. Right, first game up. Um, I've chosen Alien Storm as the first game, as this is a game I had fond memories of. Used to play around my mates Chris in the early 90s. It took a while for me to actually get this um, game on the Mega Drive, so we used to play this an awful lot on the Amiga. Published by US Gold. Alien Storm. So, so far, so good. And straight away, you notice there's some different enemies. There's no in-game music. Plays okay. I can remember having a lot more fond memories of this back in the day. Very clunky controls. But what's your memories of Alien Storm? As an arcade game goes, it's not too bad. Why they changed the little pink aliens to them red blobs, I don't know. I'm getting absolutely hammered here, guys. And I lost a life. Oh, I'm the robot now. Let's give him a go. Kind of get trapped. Graphically, looks good. Let's try and take these out before I get cornered. Once you take one hit, you seem to take a few. So yeah, not a patch really on the on the Mega Drive port of this game. It's the gameplay, and I think we're going to find a, a regular theme there. Let's see how the shoot 'em up kind of levels work. See, now this works all quite well. Quite slow. And 
Oh, it is going to scroll. What's your first memories of playing Alien Storm, guys? Did you play this in the arcades? Did you like the Amiga port? So that's the first game up, guys, Alien Storm. All right, next up, guys, we've got to go for a classic, haven't we? And we're going to go for Golden Axe. Again, me and my mate Chris, we absolutely love Sega. And because he had the Amiga before me, um, he would get all the games. And obviously having an, a, a Mega Drive myself, I'd have to wait. You know, this is the whole reason I got an Amiga alongside my Mega Drive is just simply the cheapness of the games and, and swapping discs with your mates in the playground, that sort of thing. Um, he had all the classics. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, this this one's done by Virgin Games. So not a US Gold one. So a bit more hope. Produced for Probe. So you know we've got we've got some good pedigree there guys. We've got the music, which is great. We've got the nice character select there. I really like the art style. I'm really digging the um the sprites. in-game music, which is always good. Alex, what has happened? His Majesty and the Princess have been taken by Death Adar. Re revenge them for me, my friend. Alex! <laughs> Instantly moving better than Alien Storm. Really fluid. Lovely accurate um, sprites oh I've just used my magic I've no idea how you jump in this Do the, the charge attack. This is really good, guys. I can remember loving this. Back in the day. One of the first games I seeked out on my Amiga, this was. Just goes to show the Amiga can do these arcade ports well if they've got the right team behind them. <laughs> but overall, guys, I'm impressed with this. Holds up well. I still haven't figured out how to jump. I've just used my magic again. <laughs> Should be the little blue imps now, shouldn't it? Yes. It all moves really quite well. The scrolling's a little... Lacking. But yeah, you can't fault the gameplay. It's really quite responsive, fluid. All what you need in this type of game. turning the music off trying to figure out 
how to jump. <laughs> Comments down below, guys. How do you jump in Golden Axe on the Amiga? <laughs> But yeah, I'm impressed with this one. Use a bit of magic. And we soon took them out. So it's got a nice difficulty about it gameplay really good obviously not as good as the mega drive release of this but it's not far off you know plays okay it's got the map the all important drawn on the map Nice detail there, the backdrops and environments are actually really well done. Aha, so it's down. It's kind of down then up really quick I believe. Oh no, it's up. Then push the attack button. Oh. Yeah, it's up and the attack button at the same time. So I've figured out how to jump, guys. Oh, the glory of having a one fire button controller. But yeah, we can do it, guys. Getting a few more sprites in at once here. Let's see how this handles. Not bad at all. Oh, it's then gonna rammer. Rammer, you say? <laughs> but this is really fluid, guys. Really fluid. I'm really impressed. That Golden Axe on the Amiga has held up as well as it has. It really plays great. Highly recommend this one, guys. What's great about choosing these themes um, for these videos is there's so many games to go through, so picking a theme helps me to find a game and... This is definitely a game I'll play again on the Amiga, it really is. I'm enjoying this. Whereas Alien Storm looked the part, it lacked the soundtrack, which to me in a Sega game is so important. And it just didn't control like Alien Storm, but this controls like Golden Axe. It really does. I'm enjoying it, guys. We lost a life. Let's use some magic. Oh, he is gone. But yeah, even controlling the, the creatures is good as well. Yeah, I'm loving this. Turtle Village.
where we're going to need the jump in this one. So we're going to leave that there guys, I'm impressed with Golden Axe on the Amiga, it still holds up well and my nostalgic memories of these games, it's good, you know, I can remember playing Alien Storm loads um, and enjoying that on the Amiga but it doesn't hold up well today, Golden Axe does, so Golden Axe gets a big thumbs up, it really do guys, let's move on to the next one. So we've had two similar games, um, like side scroll and beat em up type of affairs. Let's go for something different now. Let's go for another genre that Sega nailed back then. And we're going to go for racing. And I'm not going to pick Outrun, guys. Um, you'll all think that I'm going to pick that. We all know how awful Outrun is on the Amiga. Um, so I thought I'd go for a different racer. One that doesn't get half as much love as it should do. And that is Power Drift. A game, again, that I really enjoyed the micro conversions of this game. It plays really well. And a Sega console didn't get a good port of this until the Sega Saturn. And that was only released in Japan. So it's going to be really good to give... Power Drift to go on the good old Amiga. It was the best way to play it back in the, in the very early 90s. Late 80s, early 90s. You go 1989, this is an Activision release. Are we on the mouse? I thought that said joystick controls. Hmm, this is interesting. Oh! So, a bit like another game I want to focus on. I can't, I couldn't remember. You have a mouse controls for this, but it's working, guys, kind of. The arcade machine of Power Drift was a powerhouse, it really was, and a lot like a lot of the Sega mid late 80s games it took a long while for the home consoles to come close to replicating them i'm struggling to be quite honest guys with the mouse with this is it my skills or is it the conversion of this game to be fair it's not too bad we've got some nice visuals we've got some good got a competent soundtrack Nice sound effects. We're getting to sample a load of me crashing. <laughs> I would like to play this on the joystick if we can. So we don't want to continue. Controlled by joystick keyboard. Right, let's go for that. Let's watch your memories of this, guys. Oh, 
I'm not controlling it much better by the joystick to be fair. It's because in a lot of races you have to push up to accelerate. So it makes it difficult for you to control. Oh, the frame rate is abysmal. Oh! Oh, this is, I just cannot do a corner without crashing, guys! Oh! So I've tried it with the mouse, I've tried it with a joystick, this, this, nah. I can remember having fond memories of this, I really can, back in the day. But we're going to leave power drift there because it's excruciating to try and control this. But in comments down below, guys, I want to know your memories of power drift. Right, guys, to keep it fair and even, we've done two side scrollers. We've just tried power drift, so let's try another racer. And we're going to go for super hang on. Again, a game that I had major fond memories of on the Atari ST. Um, was It was one of the first games I had on my Atari ST was Super Hang On. And I can remember my mate having it on the Amiga. And my good ma mate Chris. Um, so yeah, are you, I'm familiar with both versions. This is done by Electronic Stream Software. We're going to start on the beginner stages. This, I can remember handling a dream back then. Um, But this really is a great conversion of the arcade classic. You've got the speed. A great soundtrack. You've got all the sound effects that you that you need in a game like this as well. Wash your memories of Super Hang On. I never actually owned Super Hang On on the Mega Drive. Um, it was an early release on the Mega Drive, but because I was so fond of it on the Amiga, yeah, I never felt the urge to get it on the Mega Drive. Not until recent years. Oh, I was then going to say I've done well, I made a checkpoint and then smashed it straight in the rear of that, that bike. But yeah, it all moves really well, guys. I really like controlling it, using the mouse. can remember thinking that was a really good touch back in the day. Oh, and it's game over. Oh, I was doing so well there.
So yeah, memories of Super Hang On guys. I'm gonna have another go. I want another go. Let's try a winning run. Centralized mount on play area. Using my nitros a bit now, guys. I'm a bit more confident. Whoa! Play how should be played. I was being a bit too conservative before, just getting control of the mouse. But it controls lovely guys, it really does. Made it through the checkpoint a lot better. Is there no crash animation? Surely I should have crashed there. <laughs> Love the soundtrack. Bringing back so many memories this because I can remember playing this on my ST, and then going around and playing it on the Amiga. I never got bored of this game. Always really enjoyed this one. I remember Great Yarmouth having the sit down super hang on bike. Oh, that would be a holy grail item in the collection that. But there's Super Hang On guys, I think I'm going to be playing some more of this later. But we need to move on to another game. Next so up we're going to move to a game that I didn't realise got a release back in the day on the um, Sega Master System. But I remember liking this on the home micros. And literally it wasn't until two or three years ago that I realised this was released. And that is Scrambled Spirits. So we've got an 8-bit Master System release. That was also released. I believe it was released on the 8-bit Micros as well. But I'm not familiar with it on those. I'm only familiar with it on the Amiga. So we'll make this the final game of this video. Let me know in comments, guys, if you like the themes I'm doing with the Amiga. Um, there's so many more Sega games we can touch on, so I think we might touch on a do another video. If this is if this goes down well, guys, I'm happy to talk Sega on the Amiga. So here we go. I just remember liking that it was a lot really chunky sprites. The game has got music as you play. Quite a simple basic shooter but still pretty good it's a little floaty on the controls and I'm doing absolutely god awful what's your memories of scrambled spirits did you have this on the Master System back in the day? Like I said, I missed out on this one back then. I'm gonna die. But 
not a bad little shooter. And it's a two player game as well. How it zooms in, I love it. It's a game I need to get. I did actually own this on the Master System a few years ago. But to help um, someone out, who was Michael Almond, big on Retro Realm, and the Facebook groups, he was completing his Master System set. So I sold him my minty version, my minty copy of this game to help him complete that set. Game I need to really re add to the Master System. Because another good thing with these lockdown videos is I've rediscovered a lot of passion for the Master System. This whole lockdown's been brilliant really for gaming, hasn't it lads? But let me know what games you think I should be covering next Sega conversions on the Amiga for the next Amiga video. Um, I'm Sega Zombie. Until the next time, goodbye.